Like most people of my age, I was taken to school when I was around four and I spent the following 17 years in one school or the other. Yes, at a point, I got tired of the boring classrooms and got out of school. But even if I had stayed in school till the end of my studies as most people do, I would still probably not be able to point at any significant thing school taught me today. No, I'm not saying that school is totally bad. What I'm saying is that, at the end of the day, what separates the people who become successful from others isn't the degrees but the skills, the valuable skills that give them the ability to do what others can do. So, they make the kind of money most people can't. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the three important skills I think you should have before you're 30. If you're between the ages of 15 and 40, this channel was created specifically for you. So, don't forget to subscribe. Selling, selling, selling. Several years ago, I read a book titled, You Can Negotiate Anything and there's a big lesson for me in that book, which is, we are all salespeople. It doesn't matter whether you think you're a salesperson or not, the truth is that you're a salesperson. Often, we think about selling in terms of product but that's like saying workouts only happen in the gym. Yes, a workout does happen in gyms but we do as well work out everywhere we go. Yes, selling products or services is a form of selling but there are many other forms of selling we do every day. Take for instance, about three years ago, I had a business idea and I didn't have sufficient money to finance the idea. I later decided to approach one of my digital friends. I call him digital friend because we met on Facebook. I let him know about my idea and how partnering together with me can benefit him financially and he decided to invest about $3,000 in my business. For me at that time, that was the only miracle I needed to transform my ideas into reality. But think about that. How do you get someone else to finance your business? How do you get someone to risk their money on your idea? It's called selling. You must be able to sell. You must be able to get other people to be willing to make sacrifices for you and the best time to start learning how to do that is when you're young. Aside from getting other people to finance your idea, you need other people to make some other sacrifices for you. You may want to start a movement and need people to join. You need to know how to sell your idea or they wouldn't join. You may want to get your employer to give you a raise or even get another job. You may want to contest an election or something like that. Getting someone you love to marry you or even getting your kids to do or stop doing certain things all have some elements of selling. So, if you know how to sell, you'll have a better chance of success than most people. Now, how do you learn how to sell? From my experience, the best way to learn how to sell is by selling. Again, this doesn't mean that you have to go and join a multi-level marketing business tomorrow, though that can help. There are simpler ways to start. You can start by creating a Facebook group and try to get people to join. You can create a little movement and try to get others to commit to it. You can start by trying to sell a product online. You can start by waking up to two strangers every day and try to get them to tell you their opinion about something. It doesn't matter how you start, the result will be the same and that will be failures. You'll get rejected and the more you try, the better you understand human nature and how to get them to say yes to you. After this, you should try and read books about marketing, selling and negotiations. In all, don't forget that all your life will be about selling so if you don't make the effort to learn how to sell now that you're young, you may never go far in life. Public speaking If you see anyone speaking in public, it seems like an easy task to do until you try to speak with a group of 10 people for the first time. The truth is that public speaking is difficult and it's an important skill for anyone who wants to go far in life. The reason why you should develop your public speaking skills is very simple. Every successful person speaks in public. Are you planning to become a successful entrepreneur? You'll have to speak a lot to your teammates, employees, shareholders or even the government. Are you planning to become a successful engineer, accountant, doctor or anything like that? You can't be effective if you don't know how to speak and convince people. Are you planning to become a successful politician, lawyer or journalist? You'll spend all your life speaking, so you better know how to do it well. So, 
how do you become a good public speaker? For me, getting involved in campus politics was the way I learned how to speak in public. I joined campus politics when I entered school and that forced me to learn how to speak to people. You can join a group in your church and try to be one of the leaders. You can join a social or political movement and try to be one of the leaders. This will force you to learn how to speak in public. Money Management Last week I read a biography of Albert Einstein. Though he was a successful scientist at a point in his career, he regretted being a scientist because he was broke. This is not to say you shouldn't be a scientist. Being a scientist could be more helpful to our world than being an entrepreneur because science solves life-threatening problems while businesses can sometimes solve little problems. For example, Coca-Cola solves the thirst problem but who needs the sugar? What I'm saying here is simple. No matter what you want to do with your life, you have to understand how money works because money is the next important thing in our world after oxygen. You can't be truly happy if you're broke. So take time to know how money works. That means that even if you're a lawyer, you have to read books about money. Even if you're a doctor or a scientist, you have to read books about money. Anyone who needs money to remain alive should read at least five books about money every year. This will help you to know how money works so that you won't be a broke person. Learn how to sell because you will have to sell something every day of your life. If there's something you have to do every day of your life, you better know how to do it well. Learn how to speak in public because you can't go far in any field if you don't know how to speak to a group of people and convince them to see what you're seeing. Understand how money works so that you won't be broke. You don't have to be a millionaire but you shouldn't be broke. So, read about money. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.